All right, 5 sixteenths in that driver, or you can use a socket. If you want to hold on to the tail light, I don't know if it will fall off or not, but I wouldn't think so. And we remove the upper screw right here, the lower screw right here. Set these to the side because you're going to reuse them on the new ones. Now, the way you want to take these off is just grab them and pull them straight back towards you. It might be a little bit of a tug, just be careful. And then inside here is the plug. So in here on this plug, what you have is a release tab. They don't just pull out, you pull this red release tab and it clicks forward. Then you can push down this little black tab right here and then just pull it apart. And now we're ready to install this. Okay, so for your information, the resistor actually plugs in right here with a little plug. And depending on your vehicle and your flasher, you may or may not need this. And I went ahead and plugged mine in off camera to check it. And mine actually does not need the resistor because the flash rate is still good. So if you did need it, then you would take the, the little bolts and screws supplied and you would put this bracket on here, use these clips on this bracket, and clip it inside there somewhere where it's out of the way and but that's if you need this unit mine will actually not need it which is a plus so you want to check yours first and see if it does so let's go ahead and install this taillight the way it is okay to go ahead and st install the taillight we want to pl first plug it in and it just clicks in just like you took it off only difference is you don't have the red locking tab on these lights so push it all the way in until it snaps in and then we're gonna put it back in here. This actually has a place that it locks on up here. It slides onto a little lock tab. Okay, so once we got that locked back in place, we can slide this in straight till we gonna make sure that these pins right here, these brass pins, fit into the rubber grommets located right here and here. Just like that. Now we can put our screws back in. Okay, now I'm showing the difference between the brake light and the tail light. Here is the original light. Here is the LED one. You can see that it's actually like a halo. This one is just that big block over here. So now we will hit the brake. Now you can see the difference between the brake light. It's a lot better brake light. That's way better this LED is. Okay, now here is the tail light is on and the backup lights on. So the backup lights are a lot better. This thing is real bright compared to this yellow one over here that is the factory incandescent. Okay, now we have the hazards flashing, so you can see basically turn signal or hazard would look like this. This is where is the stock. There's the LED, which is a lot better. So very, very nice compared to the stock incandescent over here. Okay, now I'm going to show them with them both on. So there is the brake lights looking real cool. There's the tail lights she's turned on. Now turn on the backup lights. There you go. There's the backup lights. Looks real cool. So I do like the backup lights. They're super bright. So there's a hazard. So you can see basically both turn signals. Looking good. Look at them tail lights. I love the look of those tail lights.